Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. And in today's video, we've got something slightly different. We're going to be taking a road trip um, and the video is going to be sort of a behind the scenes um, kind of road trip video. Um, we're driving down to Cardiff today to collaborate um, with another channel. So um, I thought I'd bring you guys along for the journey. Um, obviously, we're going to be filming down there as well. But yeah, I just thought it'd be an interesting um, video for you guys to bring you along and show you what I get up to on a road trip. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so we're ready to go. Um, as you can see, it's one hour and a half and 71 miles. So um, yeah, it's a decent little run for the car. Um, so I'll take you along. I think I'm probably gonna stop um, along the way somewhere. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay then guys, we're a bit more down the road now. Um, sat on this lovely dual carriageway um, which has taken us into Wales um, there's been loads of signs actually talking about the Welsh Covid rules and there's something I'd recommend is just before you if you plan to come to Wales have a look at the laws to make sure you're, you're all legit because um, it's all different to the UK um, in terms of comfort the S80 is doing really well as you can see I've got the cruise set to 65 and we're doing well we're currently saying 80 miles per gallon but um, that's because we're going downhill at the moment uh, but it's doing around 50 55 60 so it's not doing too badly at all um, I've noticed if I knock it up to 70 it drops down to about 45 so that's why I'm doing it at 65 um, but it's yeah it's perfectly comfortable um, can't complain whatsoever Only annoying thing I've noticed is that this mirror um, is wobbling I don't know if it's coming up on camera but um, yeah I'll have to sort that out um, I noticed that before so I guess the first time I've been on the motorway with this car but um, yeah no it's doing really well um, probably still another 40 minutes to go um, so we're nearly there um, but to be honest there's not much not many other cars I'd rather be in that's why that's why I enjoy these I love these big saloon cars because they're just this is what they were built to do is just cruise um, just like this uh, down the down the dual carriageways and motorways I mean the BMWs and the Mercedes and more auto barn cars um, and to be honest this Volvo would be an awesome autobahn car um I quite easily sit there doing 90 100 120 um, obviously the new new cars now are all limited to 110 miles an hour so um they they can build they're built to cruise at that speed so it's, it's not like you're compromising um anything but um yeah so like i said we've got 40 minutes to go um i'll keep you updated on the fuel economy now's a better reading of sort of 57 miles per gallon uh, that's what we'd expect overall um, I haven't reset the trip computer so with my town driving that I do and sort of the A road stuff um, we're at 38.3 but I expect that to go up um, as we proceed on this journey because like I said this is pretty much it now um, just dual carriageway for the next sort of 25 miles so um, yeah I'll uh, I'll catch you guys in a bit. I'll um, I won't bother boring you with all the journey, but um, yeah, see you shortly. Here again, then, guys. Uh, we're just coming into Cardiff now. We're on the M4, um, and we're nearly there. So, um, I'll sort of give you an update on how the cars performed. Ah, the perfectly timed is the sign for Cardiff. Uh, it's been absolutely flawless. Um, nice and comfy as ever. Uh, I thought I'd talk about the, the music I listen to on these road trips because I always think that's an interesting topic. Um, so I've been listening to, well mainly I listen to country music. Um, I've always been a country fan ever since I was a kid really. Um, but I've been listening to the The, the Weekend's new album. Um, it sounds really nice on these uh, on the premium speakers. So um, yeah. Um, we've got another probably 20 minutes or so um, before we arrive uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop at this services here um, actually no, I think I might do the next one and then um, just grab a drink I oh, know I'll do this one yeah I'm going to grab a drink and um, then next time I see you guys we'll be at our destination Okay then guys, so we're all finished up now. We filmed um, the videos, um, and they're gonna be coming over the next few days. It's all about um, electric vehicles and everything like that. So um, that will be 
interesting if you're into that sort of thing um so yeah we've got a not as good journey back i'm afraid it's um they've shot the road that we took on the way down that lovely dual carriageway so um we're now gonna have to take an alternative route but um yeah we'll um i'll keep you guys up to date on the journey back uh just to sort of show you guys how the, the s80 performs we're gonna gonna tick over eighty nine thousand miles so um yeah i suppose we'll be able to get underway okay then guys so we've had a bit of a nightmare journey on the way back um they've shut the the dual carriageway uh, well they shut the first bit so i had to reroute um so the journey's taking another four, half an hour which isn't great because i've got to be back for a certain time but um we're making good time now so it's not too bad i just thought i'd point out and then show you i've got the cruise control set to 75 uh, which allowing for the the thing the sat nav showing i'm doing exactly 70 miles an hour but um what I thought was interesting is that although I'm traveling 10 miles an hour faster, um, I'm actually using more fuel. It's only showing 68 because we're going downhill. But um, it was it sort of dropped from 55, 56 to around less, well, 10 less, so um, 40, 45. So um, yeah, it's bizarre how much of a difference it makes in terms of um, how far you how much more fuel you'll use just in 10 miles an hour. I suppose it's got something to do with the drag because it multiplies per mile per hour. But um, yeah, as you can see, we're making good progress now. Um, and we're hopefully not gonna be late for my appointment, which um, would be ideal. But yeah, so the videos that I've filmed, they're gonna be coming out in the next few days um, after this one, I think. Or I might do them all the way around, it depends. Um, but they're on a two electric vehicles, uh, a, brand new Peugeot um, E2008, uh, really rare car, it's not literally been out a couple of days, so um, that's an interesting car that we're going to film, and then we're also going to film a, um, well it, we have filmed a BMW i3, uh, which will be coming out soon, and just going to be talking about high mileage electric cars, because obviously in the last few videos I talked about um, high mileage vehicles etc, so I thought I'd talk about what it's like to um, own a high mileage electric car as well and it's um the video is filmed with my uncle who is um i call him the ev king because he's got a driveway full of evs and he's all about evs he's got a got a company as well that specializes in all sort of charger installations and solar solutions and all that sort of stuff far cleverer than i am so um yeah so we, we talk about those as well so if you're into that sort of thing look, look forward to those they'll be coming over the next few days um i think i may space them out so it's not like all ev stuff for like five videos or three videos or however many videos i film so um yeah but um for me guys i'm gonna call it a day here uh, just because uh, i've got to get back and um it's all some stuff out so um thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe check out the videos when they come out and i'll see you in the next one cheers <laughs>